Today on our 2009 Honda Accord, we're going to be installing the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connection, part number 118420. The Takancha T connector is going to allow our Accord to hook up to our trailer with a four pole flat connection and give all the trailer its basic lighting functions. Things like your running lights, your brake lights, and your turn signals. It ties into our taillights on our Accord with a simple plug and play design, which means there's no splicing and no modifications needed to be done. One of the nice things about this wiring harness is, it has an integrated converter box. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna protect your Accord from any overloads or electrical shorts coming from your trailer. It simply stows underneath your trunk near your spare tire. When you're ready to connect it to a trailer, we can simply draw it out unbundle it, and we're going to run it over our threshold. Now if you're worried about this, no need to worry because the weather stripping is going to give it enough padding to where it will not get crushed once our rear hatch is closed. You will want to be sure to stay away from that latch. We can close up our trunk and we're all set. Now that we go to the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. First thing we need to do is make sure we have access to our rear hatch. Then we need to remove any cargo that we might have in the way or any cargo liner that might be in the way. Then we need to remove the threshold. The easiest way to do this is to lift up the panel that covers your spare tire. Go ahead and get a couple hands on the bottom of the threshold and just pull up. And we'll just take that all the way out. Now we need to be sure we can access behind both tail lights. So here we've got some plastic fasteners and we can use a flathead screwdriver. Just go ahead and thread that outward and we can pull it out. If the whole thing doesn't come out, not a big deal. You can just kind of come behind it and pull it out like that. I'll go ahead and take out another one here. And we'll just take out one more fastener here. You'll also want to be sure and save those. We'll be reusing them when we put everything back together. With everything pulled out of the way here on the driver's side, Let's go ahead and point out the two connectors we're going to be working with and unplug them. There's a little button you just have to push down to pull that out and we'll go ahead and do that for both. Now let's go ahead and grab the red, brown, and white connectors from our T connector and we're basically just going to be matching plug to plug. Push it on until it clips together then we'll take the corresponding end and plug it in just like that. Now we'll take the yellow and white wire and do the same thing. The red and brown wire are going to tap into our running light circuit and the yellow wire is going to tap into our turn signal and that's going to be for our driver's side. With this side being done, let's go ahead and repeat the same process with removing our push pins and our carpet on the passenger side and then plug in our green wire. Now since we already tapped into our running light circuit on our driver's side, here on the passenger side, all we have left is to plug in our turn signal, which is going to be this bottom one here. So we'll simply unplug it, plug it in here, and then re-plug it in here. Now the last connection we need to make is our ground connection. We've got a perfectly good ground right here on our cord. So let's go ahead and take the bolt loose, put on our ring terminal, and then we'll be all set can use a 10 millimeter socket or wrench to get the job done. Just like that. And we can reinsert the bolt and tighten it down. Now the only thing left to do is to clean up our area. The kit does come with a zip tie. It's a good idea to pick up a few more so we can further make it clean. As far as the module, it does come with double-sided stick tape, so we can mount that. There's not really a flat surface back in here to secure it down, so I'm gonna be zip tying this as well. And I'm gonna go with this top loom here. I'm just gonna attach it into this corner, just like this. So what I'll do is I'll take a zip tie. I'm gonna go through the mounting hole, around the loom, Get it nice and secure. 
and then I'm gonna use one more to go around the wires here, and that's gonna keep it in place. With everything cleaned up, we wanna be sure to leave our four pole connection on the outside, of course, so we can connect it to our trailer. I like to use the dust cover to keep everything bundled up, make it nice and clean. But with that being said, we can go ahead and reconnect our carpet and put our threshold in. The trick is here to get everything lined up and line up the holes underneath. Good. So you also want to be sure that the weather stripping is back over the top of it, all the way across. With everything put back together, you can see how your four pole wiring can be easily stored next to your spare tire when not in use. Once everything's installed, you'll want to be sure and test it out. We're going to use our little connector here. If you don't have one, you can pick one up here at eTrailer.com, part number I26. And it just fits on the end like this. And we can test our lights using the tester lights here. With it connected, let's go ahead and test our running lights, our brake lights, and then our left turn signal, and then our right turn signal. Looks like everything's working properly. We're ready to hook up to our trailer and hit the road. And that's gonna complete our install of the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness, part number 118420 on our 2009 Honda Accord.